Hey everyone, this is video number five and the final video in the series of partnership problems. In this video, we are going to be solving those kind of problems where profit ratio has already been given to you and the problem is talking to you something about either capital invested or the time period and hence this becomes really very important because examination mein to bilkul aise hi problem aapko milte rahte hain. So you have got to be very mindful when you're solving this kind of problem. So have your pen and paper with you. I'm going to be solving this very first question. It says that A starts business with rupees 3500 and after five months B is joining A as his partner. So amount of B has not been given to you and that is what they are asking you in the problem. After one year, the profit is divided in the ratio of twos to three. What is B's contribution in the capital? So investment of A and B. It's 3500 rupees for A. And since I do not know how much B is investing, so I, I'm just writing this one as B. And the ratio of time period of A and B is given to you. Problem says that after five months B is joining and the business is going to be there for one year, which is 12 months. So A is going to be there in this business business for 12 months, whereas B is going to be there in the business for seven months. Aya paanch mahine baad, to business mein raha kitne mahine? Wo raha seven months ke liye. Now, you have learned in order to find out ratio of profit, you should be multiplying investment and time in video number three and four. And the profit ratio has already been given to you, which is two is to three. So as per our understanding, profit should be distributed between A and B in the ratio of 3500 into 12 is to 7 into B. And this ratio is given to me as, as per the problem two is to three. So A and B ka jo profit ka ratio hai, that has already been given as 2 to 3 and and as per our understanding this is nothing but 3500 into 12 and and this is going to be 7 into b and if you simplify this your job is going to be easier from this equation you can find out the value of from the value of uh, from this equation you can find out the value of b now this is going to be how much this is 500 isn't it and then this is going to be what 6. So the value of B is 3 into 500 into 6 and which is coming out as nothing but 9000 rupees. I hope you're understanding this problem. So we are going in, in the reverse order. Is, is, is that okay? So this problem, I hope you have understood. So if you have understood this one, try to solve this problem out here. It says that in a business A has invested rupees 600 more than B. Neither the value of A is given to you nor the value of B is given to you. It has just been mentioned in the problem that A is investing 600 rupees more than B. The capital of B remained invested for 7.5 months while the capital of A remained invested for two more months. What does that mean? If you need to find out ratio of time, if you need to find out ratio of time, for A and B, if B is there in the business for 7.5 months, A is going to be for 9.5 months. So I am going to be writing this as 9.5 is to 7.5. And if you simplify this, you can write this as 95 and 75 or, or this you can write as 19 is to 14. So ratio of time periods has already been found out and it also says that if the total profit is 620 so total profit is given to you as 620 total profit of a and b is 620 and it says that it says that b gets 140 less than what a gets say for example a gets a a gets a then B is going to be getting how much? B is going to be getting A negative 140. And this collective value is given to you as 620. I hope you will be able to simplify this one. And 140 goes on this side of the equality, it becomes 760. So the value of A comes out as 380. 
so out of 600 rupees 620 rupees profit a is getting 380 rupees so how much how much b is going to be getting b is getting uh, 140 less than 140 less than a so if a is getting 380 b is going to be getting 380 minus 140 which is coming out as 240 rupees now you know that value of profits of a and b is known to you so can you find out what is going to be the ratio of profit so this is 380 and this is going to be 240 so this is 9 is to 12 so the ratio of profits is is something that we know so we know the ratio of time periods we know the ratio of ratio of uh, their profits we will have to find out the ratio of investments ab investment ke liye problem mein kya hai bola gaya a has invested 600 rupees more than b so if in order to find out in order to find out investment ratio of a and b i might say that if b is b is investing say some x then a is going to be investing how much 600 plus x isn't it so you know the ratio of investments you know the ratio of time periods you know the ratio of profits and they're asking you what is going to be the value of x so let us simplify this let us simplify this so how do i find out ratio of profit ratio of profit nikalne ke liye aapko kya karna padega investment amount investment and time in dono ko multiply karna padega karte hain in dono ko multiply a is to b ke liye kya banega yahan pe dekh lo so this is 600 plus x 600 plus x is the is the investment for a and what is going to be what is going to be the time period this is going to be into 19 is to x into what is this value 14 isn't it ab ye ratio hamare ko already dekhe rakha hua hai kya 19 and 12 ka to aasan hua hamare liye ye aasan hua kaise aasan hua dekho dekhne mein bada lag raha hoga but ye hai nahi bada a is to B का जो profit का ratio है हमारे हिसाब से 19 by 12 है and as per this understanding this is 1900 600 plus x and x into 14 is that okay now this is not 14 this is 15 this is 15 this is 15 let us get mindful of it this value will have to be 15 19 and then 15 एक value आपने गलत लिखी और problem here से problem goes from here to there now if you simplify this so 19 and 19 are gone from both sides of equality and then and then x into 1500 is going to be 12 600 plus x आसानी से निकल जाएगा because this is going to be what 5 into 3 and 4 into 3 so 5x is equal to 2400 plus 4x and if x goes on the other side of equality you will have the value of x as 2400 so what is x x is the value which b invested isn't it x is the value which b invested you see over here x is the value which b invested so a has invested 600 rupees more than that of b so the value of a comes out as 2400 plus 600 and this value is nothing but option number c i hope you are getting this problem ab aise problem mein thodi to calculation hamare ko karni padegi now let us go and solve this problem swati and rajni enter into a partnership with their capitals in the ratio 5 is to 6 at, at the end of the 7 month swati has withdrawn her capital so investment of swati and rajni is given to me as 5 is to 5 is to 6 did you understand this and problem also tells me for for time period swati has invested this for 7 months 7 months and let us let us assume that rajni invested this why am i writing w rajni invested here for x months now can we simplify this so what is going to be the ratio of profit of swati and rajni as per our understanding this is going to be what 
35 and 6x. And as per the problem, this value is given to you as 5 is to 9. So can you write 35 upon 6x as 5 by 9? So this value becomes 7 and this is 2 and this is 3. If you simplify the value of x, it comes out as 21 by 2, which is 10.50 months. So Rajni has invested her capital for 10.50 months, which is neither A nor B nor C. So what is the option? D is the right answer. Did you understand this problem? What did I do? I found problem of uh, the ratio of investments is given to you. The ratio of time period you write down as 7 is to x. The value of x you will have to find out in the problem. And ratio of profit in dono ko multiply karenge to ban jayega, which is already given to you in the problem as 5 is to 9. Isko simplify kiya problem hamara ban gaya. Now if you understand this, please go and solve this one. This one is really very simple. Dikhne mein values complicated hote hain. But hai ye wali, ye wali problem bade simple hai. Thik hai ji. Ab ye bol ra ki A and B are partners in a business. A contributed one third of the capital. So, if you have investment or capital ka ratio, this is the same If you have one third, so obviously B has invested two thirds because there are only two partners in the business. So, the ratio of capital invested is given to you as 1 is to 2. That, that is what you have to find out. And, and A has invested for how many, for how many months? time of a and b this is given to you as 9 and this value has not been given to you and this is what you need to find out bhai b hai kitne mahine business mein and the ratio of profit ab aap dhyan se dekhna hai isko who is receiving two fifth of the profit a is to b mein b receives two fifth of the profit so obviously a is going to be receiving what three fifth of the profit and what is going to be the ratio of profits of A and B? If you simplify these values, it is coming out as A and B is coming out as 3 and 2. Did you understand this? Never write 2 is to 3. It is 3 is to 2. So, ratio of profit is already known to you as per the problem. It is 2 is to 3. Now, how do we find out investment and time? If we have multiplied it, then we will see what we have done. So, 9 into 1 is 9 upon this is 2x and this value is given to you as 2 by 3. 2 by 3 profit, 3 by 2, not 2 by 3. This value we should be writing 3 is to 2. If this is 3 is to 2, 2 is gone and the value of x comes out as what? 9 by 3 which is 3 months. And how long was B's money used in the business? It is going to be for how many months? Three months. Hey, a simple problem. Hey, da. Agar aapko ye simple nahi lag raha, to mere ko ek bar comment section mein batao. Mere ko lag raha hai ki agar aapne video number three, four dekha hua hai na, to is video ke sari problems aap se dhang se ban rahi ho, ban rahe honge. Agar kahi se bhi koi problem hai, so go and watch three and four so that you can simplify these kind of problems out here. Now let us let us solve this one. Dikhne mein bada lag raha hai, but hey, ye itna kuch bada hai nahi. It says that A and B started a business. With initial investments in the ratio of 18 is to 7. Okay. Now, ratio of investments of A and B is given to you as 18 and 7. 18 and 7 in the very beginning. Problem also tells you that after 4 months, A start from the start of the business, A has invested 2000 rupees and B has invested 7000 rupees more. And at the end of one year, if the profit was distributed, the profit was distributed in the ratio of 2 is to 1. Now, how do I write? How do I write value for A? Understand this. For A, uh, let us assume here, let us assume that A is initially A brought 18x rupees and B brought 7x rupees. This is the problem. And we don't know the value of x and the initial capital between both of them should be 18x plus 7x which is 25x and that is what they are asking you in the problem. So, if x ki value is removed from our then our problem is simplified. Ho now, for A, how, how, should I write, how should I be writing the, the, the value? 
ऑफ प्रॉफिट सो प्रॉब्लम से पहले तो ए लेके आया एटीन एक्स इज एंड ए इज देयर इन द बिजनेस विद विद एटीन एक्स रुपीज फॉर फोर मंथ एंड देन एंड देन ए इज इन्वेस्टिंग टू थाउजेंड रुपीज मोर तो अब ए अब पैसा कितना हो गया एटीन एक्स तो पहले से था और टू थाउजेंड रुपीज इन भाई साहब ने बाद में लगा दिया और ये कितने महीने के लिए हो गया एट मंथ्स के लिए हो गया क्योंकि बिजनेस है कितने महीने का बारह महीने का बिजनेस है ना वट इज दैट यू शुड बी राइटिंग फॉर बी इट इज गोइंग टू बी सेवन एक्स फॉर फोर मंथ्स एंड देन सेवन एक्स प्लस नाउ बी फर्दर इज इन्वेस्टिंग हाउ मच सेवन थाउजेंड रुपीज सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी वर्ट सेवन थाउजेंड इन टू एट and that ratio is given to you a is to b given to you and the problem as 2 is to 1 so let us first simplify this agar aapne yahan se agar aapne yahan se 4 common le liya a and b ke liye aapko simplify kar baithoge so this is going to be what i needed to change the color so this is going to be 18x plus 18x plus 2000 into 2 है ना फोर ऊपर से कॉमन ले लो और फोर नीचे से कॉमन लेके उसको भगा दो वहां से क्या फर्क पड़ता है आपको तो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी वर्ट 7x एक्स प्लस प्लस सेवन थाउजेंड इंटू टू ना दिस रेशियो इज इज गिवन टू यू एस टू इज टू वन दैट इज वॉट द प्रॉब्लम सेज टू इज टू वन So this ratio is given to you as two is to one. Would you be able to find out the value of x from here? Yes. So this is going to be what? Eighteen x plus thirty six x plus four thousand, and divided by this one is seven x plus fourteen x plus fourteen thousand. This value is coming out as two into one. So this value is what? Fifty four x. Plus four thousand. Please do this calculation on your own. And this is twenty one. Twenty one into two, forty two x plus twenty eight thousand. If forty two goes on this side of the equality, it becomes how much? Twelve x, isn't it? And if four goes on this side of equality, this becomes twenty four thousand. So what is the value of x? The value of x, if you simplify, this is coming out as two thousand. मैंने आपको क्या बोला कि अगर आपका x निकल गया तो आपका सारा का सारा काम चल गया एंड द टोटल इन्वेस्टमेंट दैट ए एंड बी कलेक्टिवली हैव मेड दिस वैल्यू यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट दिस इज दिस इज 25x इजेंट इट 18 प्लस सेवन सो 25 फाइव इन टू वट इज दिस वैल्यू टू थाउजेंड वट इज द कलेक्टिव कैपिटल दैट बोथ ऑफ देम हैव ब्रॉड इट इज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज का है कोई ऑप्शन फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज लेट एस सी यस इट इज देयर इट इज देयर सो दिस इज हाउ वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज इट इज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज है ना सिंपल तो है अब एक दो लाइन कैलकुलेशन ज्यादा लग गई अगर आपका कम लगा है तो भी आप मेरे को बता दो आई विल इनकॉर्पोरेट योर मेथड सो दिस इज वॉट वी हैड इन पार्टनरशिप प्रॉब्लम आई होप दैट नाउ यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द कॉन्सेप्ट you have seen the variety of problems that are coming in your examination and now i hope you're ready to ta tackle these kind of problems next video onwards i'm going to be doing the most important thing of arithmetic section which is time and work and i and i say this no aptitude paper can be designed without having questions from time and work so time and work is going to be absolutely important topic for you so it will be having pipe and cistern time and work and chain rule problem so these are the three three variety of problems that you should be doing for your examination and you know how do i solve them mere paas koi koi formula nahi hota hai i just simplify problems through different methods aur wo aapko wahan pe dekhna hai so watch this series which is going to be really very important for you and the two two topics that are very important in the arithmetic section one is time and work the other is time speed and distance ये दोनों जिसका हो गया ना उसको तो तीन चार पांच प्रॉब्लम अपने आप ही बन जाता है उसका सो आई एम गोना सी यू इन दैट सीरीज टेल देन बाबा एंड टेक केयर